Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more Subnautica in our brand new Into the Locker series. So at the end of the last episode, by the way, we are starting off with a nice sunset here. The day-night cycles in Subnautica are absolutely extraordinary, and there's also because of this giant moon that's so close to the planet. Uh, there's, there's also, I believe, a smaller moon somewhere, maybe, I think. Uh, but because of the giant one, uh, eclipses are pretty regular, so all of a sudden during the daylight, all your all your sunlight will go in. You'll be like, whoa, is it night? What just happened? And then the daylight will come back. It's crazy. But at the end of the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to go ahead and get my building uh, device in order, which is, Caution. let's see. Dehydration detected. Oh, I'm thirsty. So I should probably do that first. The Habitat Builder. I'm going to need a computer chip and I'm going to need a battery. And the key ingredient, also, as I mentioned, in a computer chip is silver. And silver can be kind of hard to find. So that's going to be one of the first things I go looking for. But first, I think I need to just grab some stuff to eat. C come here, you. C hey, listen. Come here. It's not that hard. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we've got a fish, which is going to help a little bit with hydration. guys are quick. Not as quick as the peepers. The little one-eyed fish swimming around there, but they're quick enough. Right, so I've got those, and that's going to help a little bit with hydration, but I also need some air sacs. Thankfully, air sacs are pretty easy to spot at night, as you can see here. And they also are not as quick. Now watch me eat my words. Oh my god, I should I just shouldn't have said anything. Alright, here we go. <laughs> go away. We're going to grab uh, three or four of these if we can. If I can spot them. Swim up. Look around. Well, I don't see any yet, but I do see something that'll help me stay down for longer and keep looking, rather than having to swim to the surface. I'm going to swim over here. Emergency. And just kind of hover over this thing for a bit. Remaining. Air bubble. Oh, wow. That's an awesome view right there. The, the top of that kelp tree with the the moon in the background. It's phenomenal. So, yes, I've got to make sure... There's another air sac. There's a couple of air sacs, actually. I'm going to grab, grab two more, I think. So we're going to make sure that I'm fed and hydrated. And then we're going to head out and find some silver so that we can build a base. The base building is going to be very deliberate on my part. I'm going to think about it a little bit harder than I normally do since this is a let's play and I want to keep the series going for as long as I would like to and for as long especially as you guys would like to see it continue going. If it's popular I'll certainly keep it going as long as I'm having somewhat of a good time. I'm just kidding. I love Subnautica but as you guys know I like to keep the content on the channel varied as much as possible and listen to your feedback but um, I will be thinking harder about where the base goes because you know, let me look at my inventory. Okay, good. I've got four air sacks. Because having the base at an appropriate depth really would give me the ability, especially early on, to stay down deep in the water near some of the, the more important resources and places that I needed to explore to really keep the game, the early game moving at a good pace. So that's my thinking. Um, and so you're not going to see a base really in the shallows. But again, I don't want to get ahead of myself because... I, I know, I know. Chill out. I'm literally fixing that problem right now. Whoa, how'd that happen? I don't know what I just clicked. I thought I was just clicking a water bottle, but evidently I didn't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> This is what I get for talking over her and interrupting her. She literally tried to kill me. No, she didn't. That's not true. But I'm going to blame it on the computer. <laughs> Alright, so I need to eat a little bit more as a result of what just happened because we lost some of our hunger meter. You, come here. Come here. Dang it. Come here. Thank you. And one more. Perfect. All right, now we're going to go back to the base. And then we will start looking in earnest for silver. By the time we're done with this, it might actually be almost close to, to sunrise. Ah, uh, no, it won't. It'll be dark for another couple of minutes. So as you might have noticed in the first episode, there was no sleep 
in Subnautica. So I referenced the Long Dark a lot in Episode 1 because I'm transitioning uh, away from one phase of a Long Dark series to introduce this series on the channel. Uh, so I want to make sure that those viewers are accommodated. And uh, one major factor in the Long Dark is sleep. Sleep. And it just, it's, it's not a factor in Subnautica. They introduced beds in the last update, but not sleep. So we're going to keep this filtered water just on tap, no pun intended. And actually, I think I do see the beginning of sunrise there. Yeah, so I was right. We are almost done with the night. Now, in order to find some silver, I need to swim towards the kelp forest, which means I need to keep my... Wait a minute, why can't I see my knife? Where is my knife? I had a knife, didn't I? Did I put it in storage accidentally at the end of the last episode and just forget about it? I am carrying my fire extinguisher, which is weird. So maybe I made that mistake stupidly. Where is my knife? Guys, this isn't funny. Where did you hide my knife? I mean, I can, I can go make another one, but... What the crap? Alright, well, it looks like... Well, hang on, maybe maybe I put it in one of these things accidentally. Maybe that's what happened. Let's, let's, let's look. It's not in the titanium container. It's not in the copper container. I just legit don't have my knife. What's this? Oh, this is one of the... Th this is a placeholder graphic, but this is a creepy vine sleep, um, seed cluster. Actually, you know what? I need one of those if I'm going to make a new knife. So, take that. And then here's some titanium. Well, actually, I didn't really need that, but whatever. All right, so if I'm going to make another knife, I should probably go get another piece of um, creep vine seed cluster. I am genuinely baffled right now. This has never happened before. My knife is just gone. <laughs> and I'm sure if I went back and watched episode one, I haven't seen any comments yet. Um, okay, okay. I haven't seen any comments yet regarding uh, what happened to the knife. But I know I had a knife in episode one, and now magically I don't, which is which is silly. Speaking of comments, though, um, just by sheer dumb luck with my um, schedule, I actually had a gap between recording episode one of Subnautica and this recording right now. So I have actually this is a very rare thing, but as of recording episode two, I have already seen the comments, some of the initial comments on episode one, and I would just like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> for making you guys buy another game during the Steam Summer Sale. It's not my intention, I'm just playing the game because I like it, and I've had it for a while, and it's it's right up my alley, but evidently, um, some of you are in particular agreement with my particular taste in games. And for that, I am sorry, not sorry. There it is. <laughs> Those comments cracked me up, though. It was great. All right, so we're gonna do a knife again. I am baffled. I'm, I want to go back and watch episode one now and figure out what the heck happened to my knife. I know I took a lot of swings at that uh, uh, one particular big fishy that came swimming at me, but I mean uh, that, that that shouldn't that shouldn't render my knife non-existent. <laughs> so anyway, we now now that it's daylight, especially, are in a better position to head out and start looking for some silver. Silver can typically be found in kind of the floor areas. Is that? Yeah. Ooh, hey. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's two out of three fragments that we've scanned of the mobile vehicle bay. And we have a seagull. Ooh, definitely need that. 50% progress on the sea glide. You guys might not know what the sea glide is yet, but you will. And when you see it, you will love it. Crap. I heard that. Where are you? Are you coming after me? Okay. There's one there, but it's not coming after me. Might as well surface for a bit. There's actually a number of things down there that I need to scan, so I might just take my knife and chase off this guy. Because I don't want to deal with his face right now. I would prefer he's. I would prefer his presence not be a factor. Where did you go? There you are. If 
That's a wall, Stalker. You don't want to swim into that. Die. I don't want to deal with you. How many? This is more than... Okay, there we go. He's dead. That was... That took more effort than I'm accustomed to. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and hit the surface real quick and then swim right back down to that area where he was swimming because I want to take advantage of the fact that he is now cleared from it. Because the, the stalkers can just really, really harass you when you are doing your initial forays. See? See? There's another one. This is exactly what I'm talking about. They're all over the place. It's a little stupid. It's good, though, because it keeps the suspense nice and high. Let's grab some magne magnesium while we're down here. Damn. Ooh, there's some shadow glitching happening right now. Like I said, you're going to see some, some glitches from time to time. But whoa. This is an early access game. I've got a knife, so you feel free to, to come. At, yeah, that's right. Run away, you jerk. I've actually Caution. never seen that particular shadow flicker happen before. Remaining. Hopefully it won't happen again. Oh, no, there it goes again. Not sure what's causing that. Unique phenomenon in Subnautica. Emergency. Okay, alright, 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 I'll surface. This is not as bad as it looks. <laughs> I'm out of oxygen, it's gonna go a little dark here, but I'll be okay because air. There we go. Sometimes you can go completely black and still get up to the surface. I mean, so obviously you, you need to be smart and keep an eye on your water, but at the same time, you can push it. It's not zero equals death. It's zero equals you need to hit the surface in the next three or four seconds or you're dead. <laughs> because you have no oxygen in your system. You've already breathed it in and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm just full of random references and quotes. All right, let's see. Looking for silver again. Do I really have this little oxygen to go on right now? The weird shadow thing seems to have stopped happening. Bioreactor fragment. I'll take it. Crap. Alright, so we've unlocked the bioreactor. We need to surface though. Because we're out of oxygen. So we're having a little bit of trouble finding silver, mainly because the stalkers are harassing us. Oh, we might have an eclipse happening right now. Oh no, we don't have an eclipse happening. <laughs> running out of oxygen, that's what was happening. Oh crap! Jesus! That was not expected. You are a jerk and need to die. Oof. Alright. I'm gonna head back and get and get healed up, because that, that just took a chunk out of us. Well, that's what happens when a stalker bites you. Stalkers are not the biggest fish in the sea, by a long shot. But that's what happens when a stalker bites you. I was hoping to have more luck finding silver faster. But unfortunately, there's a stalker. And he's really not making my life fun. So we're going to go ahead and use our medical kit. We're going to get another one out of the fabricator. Actually, that should be good. Let's head back out, because I need to find that silver yesterday. <laughs> Again, the silver is going to be... What is happening with this? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. This is this is new and different. It might have something to do with the, the Power Nap update uh, interacting with my particular system settings, but that is not pretty. I will make sure... I'll do what I can to, to make sure it's nothing on my end after I'm done recording this episode. Uh, hopefully it's not too much of a bother uh, for everyone, but I... yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm pretty sure that was a little biter, dude. Subnautica's equivalent of a piranha. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, hey! Crash life pod. 
Interesting. We're gonna have to explore that in a second. But for see, but I can't because of stalkers. Ugh. I feel like the stalker presence in kelp forests has been uh, increased since the early versions of Subnautica. That and that their behavior has been improved to where they're they are more predatory. Oh hey, I got some creep mine pieces. Where are you? Did I kill him, or is that... I feel like there were two, and I see a body, but I can't see another one. Alright, well, I'm just going to assume that's him. So I'm going to go down here. Let's see if there's any point in uh, taking a look. Ooh, explosion in the side. Feel bad for whoever was in this thing. Whoa, did I just swim through the wall? Oh, of oxygen early remaining. access. <laughs> Oh, I'm completely swimming through it. It doesn't have any form. That's unfortunate. Sometimes when I've when I've found these, they do actually have form. But there you go. Again, this uh, they have done a new update fairly recently. Emergency. Right, there might be some silver in that. Remaining. I must find silver before I stop this recording. <laughs> I'm determined. Just one piece of silver is all I need to. That's it. All right, back down. Once I get the sea glide, it'll be a little easier to do these quick ascends, quick ascents, and quick descents into and out of the depths. All right, titanium. Uh, this is starting to get a little too deep. I don't think this will be... All right, gold. That's a good sign that I'm in kind of a good place. God, there's two of them! Ugh. You've got to be joking! Ugh. I'm telling you, they're brutal. They'll eat you alive. They'll eat you for supper. Alright, we're gonna head back this way a little bit. We're gonna very quickly consume our med kit so that we don't die. Again, we don't have permadeath turned on, for those of you who might have missed episode one or the uh, series introduction, as I like to call them, episode zero. Ten seconds okay. Remaining. But um, if we died, we would lose everything we're holding right now, which at the moment is actually some uh, a good amount of new supplies. So I'd, pr I'd prefer not to die. I'm going to try to avoid dying for that exact reason. But I am actually out of inventory space, so the smart thing to do would be... Let's see, I've got two spaces left. Let me take advantage of that by grabbing a few boomerangs out of the water. Ooh, this could be an eclipse, because that was quick. It is an eclipse. There you go. Notice how quick it got dark. Quickly, it got dark. That's a really good indicator that it's not a natural loss of sunlight. What's going on over there? I can see some stuff. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> oh, man. These developers do have some work to do. Suddenly, like, for whatever reason, this, this episode, even though I said that the game's pretty polished, and it is, you know, we're seeing in indications of, uh, of some of the work that, ha that remains to be done on the graphical side of Subnautica. I've mentioned that there's some pop-in. Um, those things right there are structures on the top of an island that we're going to find. You can't see the island right now because early access. <laughs> For the same reason that I was able to swim through that crashed escape pod earlier. Alright, so I got the one boomerang. These guys are not edible. I can't actually pick them up. So if you ever wonder why I don't do anything... Hey, that peeper swam right toward me. That was a golden opportunity. Alright, so I'm going to come up here. And we're going to cook some fish. This is actually cured food. 
So I'm actually not going to do that for the other one. We had some salt on us, and that allows us to cure food, which, which helps it keep for much longer, as you would expect, which is very, very nice. But also, that completely removes its water content. Completely. Um, as Also, as you would expect. Now, because we got some creep vine clusters, I'm going to go ahead and get some fiber mesh. We actually picked these up while we were slashing at the um, stalkers. Also, I got uh, I just forged a piece of magnesium from three salt deposits that I picked up. So I'm just very quickly combining some of my materials. All right, good. I can now make the radiation suit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right now, its placeholder is the fins icon. All right, so I now have a radiation suit and a radiation helmet. I can swim as close to that completely blown to crap ship as I want. And I won't die. It's pretty great. And I've got radiation gloves, too. Hey. All right. So we do have one signal equipped. Um, and that's helping us see a heat signature that I think is about 500 meters down somewhere nearby. So we'll figure that out um, eventually. <laughs> but right now, I want my silver. Damn it. This episode has been... I mean, I feel like my commentary has been all right, but it's been an exercise in futility when it comes to actually accomplishing our objectives. Plus, you know, just the frickin' uh, stalkers have not been nice to me. Yeah. Typically, it is the... When you're looking for there's some titanium. When you're looking for silver. Caution. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. It's the stone that that forms on the edges of this type of biome. So when you find a kelp forest, you just kind of want to look on the floors and the the outer edges. And you've generally seen me. following that exact pattern. Got a little nervous for a second there because I feel like a stalker is nearby. A stalker in the middle of the night. I mean, it's the same as a stalker in the day. It's just I can't see it coming. <laughs> they don't get any extra power at night aside from the element of surprise. Which just makes them extra douchebaggy. Okay, there's there's two rocks here. I'm going to check these out. Great. Titanium. Sandstone. Silver! Yay! I was determined to find it by the end of this episode, and I got it. Caution. So, 30 seconds of oxygen we are remaining. running out of air. I'm going to head for the surface, and while I am heading back to my ship, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Into the Locker every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT-4. For those of you not in the States, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.